Baraka. So happy we can meet again for our energetic weather report, December 29th through January the 4th. Are you in the position of intuition? Let's rise in our chi, December 29th. For my mystic astrology students, planetary positions, moon opposite the sun, Square Chiron, Sun trying Uranus, Venus tightly squaring Neptune, and Mars tightly squaring Pluto. Queen, what I mean. Explaining what these glyphs are saying now. It's a full moon. Exactly 1026 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love above. All things spring supreme. There is an opportunity to process the emotions rising from your past pain body. If damned and denied, dangerous emotional tidal waves carry you into a 2021 rerun affliction. It's your love. Nothing thereof, love above all things, spring supreme. If you find this magic in your mystical, marvelous manifestations, then you ascend it to the greatest revelation, how to woman best. Oh yeah, all of us fed on her breast. Those first seven years, we were given cheers from learning from the queen of all things. December the 30th, what does it bring? Moon opposite Mercury, Pluto, Venus square Neptune. Joy is experienced in the beautiful state of tenderness, empathy, compassion, sensitivity, surrender, cruising, ending December. It's a choice. It's a selection you make to create your reality. The joy is this beautiful state. You can be cast and vexed and hexed, but not out of the beautiful state. Don't have to flex. Calm, cool, and collective. The true type of respect. December 31st. Moon. Opposite Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter, square in Mars. Mercury comes into a conjunction with Pluto. Avoid extremes. Celebrate serene. Destructive forces strikes like lightning. A sad sight to see. 31st, it's a Baraka or a curse. Celebrate serene. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, serene, tranquilo, tranquility as your ability. That's what I'm saying. Yes, celebrate. Nothing less than best. I said celebrate serene. Avoid excessive extremes. Yes, like boozing and cruising, blaming and gaming. Nobility queen. Magnanimity King. Yes, destructive forces strikes like lightning. A sad sight to see. What's your reality? January the 1st. Moon square Uranus. Grounding down clear sight from crown chakra profound. We'll see and be astounded. First, it's like grounding, centering yourself, you know. It's going to be a need. Holding the space. It will clear the sight for the crown chakra to light profound, you see. You will see and be astounded if you are in tune 
in harmony, in concert with that inner galactic, omnipresent, ever-present, present sound. January the 2nd, Moon trine Venus, Mars, Mars square Saturn, Jupiter. Create a play with wisdom saves the day. Arrogant, abusing, misusing, is cruising for a bruising. Cruising for a bruising if you abuse and you're still stuck in this repetitive willpower and control, trying to find happiness for your soul when you're smothering and taking a toll, smothering out the light in yourself and controlling and abusing others' good health, it's time to make a rebound and do something different to get different results. Align, see, with create a play on this day, with wisdom, it's the spiritual feng shui. Well, January 31st, I'm sorry, January 3rd, not there yet. Venus, trying Uranus, Mercury, one with Pluto. Mother Earth is talking to you. What are you going to do about the issues in your tissues? Your body is speaking to you. Your mind can't fool you. A deep self-inspection demands your view. A deep self-inspection demands your true view, your honest, ruthless self-evaluation so you can remove the poo-poo, the doo-doo, and the boo-boo de you. January 4th, moon opposite Neptune in a swoon, trining Mercury-Pluto, moon square Venus, Mercury perfectly conjunct Pluto, Venus trining Mars. Disillusion, doing a drive-by, in the wake, an alibi sky high, or applying the commitment to remove the incontentment. Okay, bells would tell, voices sing, earth will bring, what am I seeing? It's a perfect being. Wow, it's no fuss. It's just us. Is that how and then was now? Beyond space, beyond time, beyond the past, future, transcending the mind. Disillusion. Doing a drive-by. Ooh, don't you be the one that has an alibi sky high, making excuses for your abuses. In denial, trying to find a way to be a slippery, slippery, Burry, dippery, trickery fish that will not confront your reality. I pray that you apply the commitment to remove the incontentment. The incontentment is gone now. All you have to do is make the choice. The incontentment is re. re Moved. And you can be in the groove. It's your thoughts that bring the reality. And it's your intention, it's your willpower that makes it be. So every choice is a consequence to make. So the mother is talking to you. What are you going to do? Don't forsake her in you. The body mind issue. The soul relating to you. This is all energy. Energetic weather report. This is all energy moving in your vicinity. You can't avoid this. It's finer than electrics. Yes, it's moving in your midst. December 29th to January the 4th. This is the Mystical Insight Light Energetic Weather Report. I'm Tuare Chica, the original T. Chica, but you don't have to greet if you don't want to love and to stand on your feet and be accountable for giving some meaning in this life right now. 
for answering the crisis in this world and how you find your deeper self and rise and you believe in the inner voice, not the narrator in the mind. So wise in following this line of advice. So kind to yourself, your true wealth, self-love and care, and then the love you share, and then love is everywhere. Love above all things, spring supreme. Namaste, Baraka. Mystical Feng Shui.